This is going great. How come it took you 10 hours to put that shock in? Oh, no reason. Are you under here? Uh, how about over here? Are you over there? Are you on the ground? Where'd you go? Well, we'll find it. Maybe not together. But we'll find it. Hey, where'd that come from? Oh, yeah. I put it over here by the fire to get it kind of warm. Because that sometimes can help these go in. Uh, like I said, that's got a little bit of a lip on either side. So you're going to kind of just hammer one side in while the other side watches. I'll give that just a little hit with a tri flow. Just to help it go. And what we'll do is we'll set that there. So we'll take and open up the vise a little bit. There's not really a whole lot you can do with these. I think you can just either, well, let's try. I don't know if you can just stuff it in first or if we'll have to just wind it with a vise. This is a pretty stiff plastic bushing. It's not plastic, because I'm sure it's some kind of rubbery stuff, but I may actually have to get it a little bit warmer. So I'm not convinced it's going to go in this way. Looks like it's not going to. No, it's not going to. So, like I said, I may have to heat it up just a hair. Maybe we can try it at a goofy angle here to see if we can force one side in. Nah, I'm going to have to get it hotter than that. I could probably use the press that's on the other side of the shop, which would help, but it's on. It's over there. It's like five, eight feet. And uh, this will give me an excuse to, I don't know, stand by the fire for a minute. So that's what we'll do. We'll get this thing nice and warm. So this thing just does not want to fold. It's pretty, pretty rugged. So I'll, I think I'll get it a little warmer next to the fire. Not Obviously not too warm, because then I'll have to use the old bushing, but uh, We'll try that. Alright, so I found it. The bushing is in. It wasn't really a good way for me to hold the camera, position the camera, and get that in there. So I apologize that I haven't, uh, that you didn't see that. But it's pretty much exactly what you would expect. You just kind of have to finagle it in there. Um, yeah, had to get it a little warm by the wood stove and then wind it in. So pretty much at this point, um, we have a bushing here, a new bush down there as well. Our red cap is on, our preload is, uh, not our preload, but our uh, valving, not valving, I don't know. The clicks are set. There's a fancy term for it. I don't ever remember what it's called, but it's set. So now we have to count. And I just use this scribe, it has a point. I count it down. From here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, that's probably still where it is. So what we do is I just sit that there and come up. Looks like I have to come up, oh, a thread or so. And that will be our preload set and we can get the shock reinstalled. Also what I'll do where that other, you know, top of that other shock was hammered, um, not hammered, but ground flat. I'm assuming it was the track that helped. I'm going to check the track tension. Um, I'll do that uh, in a separate video, probably, because there's a there's a little bit of a procedure to it. It isn't difficult. It just you you have to hang some weights, or what I do is set some weights uh, and measure. It's really not difficult, but it, there is a little bit of a procedure to it. Um, like anything, there are special tools. I almost never use them because you can do it with a tape measure uh, if you don't want to go buy the special track tension tool. They work just as fine if the track doesn't ratchet the thing goes down the trail, what more do you need? Um, I suppose what you need to do is not chew the top of the shock off, but uh, that's neither here nor there. We'll, we'll get it. So that's what we'll do. We'll uh, install this and uh, go out and ride it in Blizzard.